Um, good morning, uh, people of Lagos State. Um, good morning, His Excellency Sonwulu. Good morning, Commissioner of Police. Um, yesterday I did a video, and then um, we're talking about security in Lagos State. And um, this morning, I woke up to a lot of calls and a lot of messages on my phone, and people that I haven't even spoken to in ages started calling me. And it's about the security of Lagos State. Um, I guess I, I, I'm beginning to put everything together from what God has revealed so far, from the ways we have tried to talk to you people, jokingly, you know, complaining and all of that. And you people don't seem to understand what we are talking about. Governor Sonwolu, this lockdown, is a necessity from the government, but not from us. And then we cannot continue to think about ourselves alone. We have to think about other people who are the low end and the low class people. These are people who at a point in time, every four, four years are useful in your governance. These are people that when election comes, they stand, die hard, they are loyalists, they are agents, they vote, they do everything. And out of the blues, the system is shutting down without putting these people into consideration. Not everybody can be educated. Positive and negative is what brings light. There will be bad citizens, there will be good citizens. But you need to have policies that guide every one of them together. Policies that put everybody into consideration. The other day they stopped by. I said it in my video, I said, this thing will lead to chaos in the land. I've worked in so many fields, I've worked in so many communities, Agege, Fakojaye, Ajegule, and so many slums, and I know the kind of lives that these people live. I was working with about 800 prostitutes about four years ago, and I know how they pamper me, and I know how they are open to me, and how they reveal a lot of things to me. And this is because when we go there, we talk to them. We make them understand it's not just about the food. We also understand what you're going through. And so many things are being revealed that they're unspeakable. And these are people that have children. These are people that have husbands as bus conductors. They have husbands as Okada riders. And they feed from hand to mouth. They eat on whatever they can get. These are some prostitutes that every day... Their shelter, Fashola tried to demolish that shelter sometimes ago. They had to rebuild it and all of that because they didn't have anywhere to go to. These are built by officers, police officers, mobile uh, armies, and they take rent of 800, 900 from them per day. These are people that for two weeks now, they've not been able to pay their rent. These are people that for two weeks now, they don't have any food to eat. These are people that for two weeks now, they don't have anywhere to go and do a better job. What do you expect them to do? They begin to feed on the innocent one. They begin to carry cutlass and breaking shops and looking for what to eat. There is hunger in the land. People are angry. We need to be a little bit more sensitive. Governance does not mean you should blank your eye. Where is the spirit of Madiba in you? Mandela taught us to learn to negotiate, to dialogue. Send people out to talk to these people. Ask them what they want. Give them what they want. This sharing of rice is not going to work. It's only a temporary measure. Some people need more than that. These people don't even pay tax. They don't even, they don't even have anything they are doing. But they are so expectant. They are high dependency. They depend so much on government. And they see the way people shout that money is being squandered, stealing, corruption everywhere. They are not deaf. They can't hear. They can't see. So they expect so much. Governor Sohonu, I beg of you. One million boys, area boys, tout, send people to talk to them. Go and negotiate with them. Somebody called me from Ikorodu and said, her daughter, how can Mothers who have children in the house, they cannot sleep. What do you expect them to do? How do you expect us to close our eyes and sleep when we know that mothers like us are outside? 
Their lives have been endangered. Children like us, children we also have are outside and their lives have been endangered. I am begging you, we cannot be in isolation and not be in peace. Even if you don't give us rice, please go and talk to these people. Ask them what they want. Talk to them. These police officers know them. I know what I'm saying. Let them negotiate with them. All these boys are boys who live from hand to mouth. They are boys who, when election come, you people will need them. So this is not the time for you to say no to them. This is not the time. They know what is going on. They are expecting so much from you people. If not, they will continue and it is going to get worse. This is just day two of another two weeks extension. And look at what is going on already. How do you expect us to have peace? Madam Sawolu, please do something. Go and take care of the women. Their husbands are angry. They don't have any job. They are fishers. They are not selling. They are not doing anything. They don't have savings. They don't even have bank account. Some of them can't even read or write. But they are hungry. And some people are going to rise up for them. And some people know that there is money in this system. Everybody is hearing billion, 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 yet they only see rice. I beg you in the name of God, let us bring peace and sanity to this Lagos state. Let us bring peace and sanity to this Lagos state. Because now we can no longer sleep. The Korodu Lagos everywhere being attacked. Who are we? What do we have? There is no